What's up guys, Chase KF5IRE here with another ham radio video. And as you might have guessed, it is of course on HF once again. Uh, and that's mainly just because I've been spending most of my time learning how HF works and getting set up on HF, getting all my equipment set up, and uh, studying for my general class exam, which I did pass. So yeah, that's just kind of why all my videos recently have been on HF and I haven't really been doing a whole lot of DMR, just because I haven't had a whole lot of time to play around on DMR and, and the open spot and all that. So most of my time has just been spent playing around on HF. But today I'm gonna to be talking about the MFJ 929 antenna tuner and getting it to work on the Yaesu FT891. Let's get into the video. All right guys, so uh, I just wanna say this antenna tuner, I've had it for about a week or so. And I gotta say, it was a kind of difficult experience setting it up. Uh, there were a number of different settings that I had people trying to tell me to try and um, different hardware that I was told that I needed or not necessarily hardware, but different pieces of cabling and things like that that I was told that I needed that I didn't end up needing and things like that. But it wasn't until another ham who's in a photo group that I'm in came along and helped guide me through the process of setting the MFJ 929 up to work with the Yaesu FT891 correctly. Uh, so big shout out to him. I can't remember his call sign off the top of my head, but big shout out to him for helping uh, me guide me through the process of troubleshooting and narrowing down my issue and just actually getting the issue solved. And now my MFJ929 works almost flawlessly with my Yaesu FT891. So shout out to him and uh, thank you very much. I definitely appreciate that. So let's go ahead and dive in and I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through setting up the MFJ929 antenna tuner with the Yaesu FT891. But I'm first gonna start by resetting the MFJ929 to the factory settings, just so you can see uh, what the antenna tuner is gonna look like when you power it up for the first time after you get it from the factory. So I'm gonna show you guys how to factory reset it real quick. And I'm actually gonna show you guys how to factory reset the tuner because I think it's important in case you have some issues down the road, uh, you can just factory reset the default and hopefully that will solve your issue. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So to factory reset the MFJ929, you're actually going to start with it powered off. So to reset the MFJ929 to factory defaults, you're going to press the tune button, you're going to press the L up button, and you're going to hit the power button. As you can see, the screen flashes default reset. And now the MFJ929 is reset to the factory default settings. All right, so the next thing that you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to connect the antenna from the FT891 to the back of the MFJ929. So to do that, you're just gonna take a coax jumper from the back of the FT891 into the transmitter port on the MFJ929. So after you've connected the coax from the back of the Yaesu FT891 into the MFJ929, now you're gonna to need to hook up an antenna. So to do that, you're just gonna hook up your antenna's feed line to the antenna one port on the back of the MFJ929. And if you have two antennas, you can use antenna one and two, but just for the purpose of this video, we're only gonna talk about antenna one. All right, now after you've got the jumper cable installed between the FT891 and the MFJ929 and the antenna feed line connected from the antenna one port and ran out to your antenna, now you're gonna need to hook up power to the MFJ929. And to do that, you're just gonna hook the 12 volt DC plug into the back of the MFJ929 and you're gonna, you're gonna need to run that from the back of the MFJ929 out into whatever you're using for power supply. And as you can see, I actually installed some terminal ring connectors on my black and red cables from the MFJ929, just so I can make sure that when I hook the MFJ929 up to my power supply, I can make sure that the cables don't come loose and fall off and things like that. So the terminal rings are just a much easier way to make sure that that doesn't happen. All right, so that's about it on the cabling situation. And I'll just say, I was actually told that I would need the interface cable by some people online. Um, and that kind of, I think, led to some of my issues was I was trying to use that interface cable and it just didn't work. But the hand that actually helped me get the FT891 and the MFJ929 to work together actually the correct way 
uh, told me that I actually didn't need it and I've been using it without the interface cable since then and it's worked pretty much flawlessly. So you don't need the MFJ interface cable uh, for this tuner, but now we're gonna jump into some settings on the FT891 to get it set up to work with the MFJ 929 antenna tuner. So to access the antenna tuner settings on the FT891, you're gonna long press the function button. And really actually the only menu item that I've found that I need to change is item 1615 on the FT891 menu. And that is the antenna tuner select. So what I'm gonna do, short press the select button, and I'm just gonna switch it over to external. And there's actually one more setting that you will need to change and that is your gain. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be changing the gain on the HF power. I actually have it set where it was because I just tuned it before this video and I'm actually gonna set it just down at five watts. So now that the menu settings is changed to external antenna tuner and the gain is turned down to five watts, I'm gonna show you actually how to get the tuner to work. So to get the tuner to work, I don't have a CW key or anything else that emits a continuous tone, except for WSJTX going FTA into the radio. So that's what I've been doing to actually tune the radio. And again, make sure you turn the radio down to five watts. Um, for whatever reason, the tuner on the initial tune does not like to tune unless the radio is at like five watts or somewhere around there, it's just super low power. So that's just something to take a note of that you can't get the tuner to work a lot of the time if it's turned all the way up to uh, almost full power or at full power. So what I'm gonna do now is in WSJTX, I'm gonna say I want to tune to 80 meters. I'm gonna switch over to 80 meters in WSJTX. And to tune the radio, all I'm gonna do is hit the tune button. And as you can see, I'm getting high SWR on the radio. And I'm just gonna click the tune button. And as you can see, it's started the tuning process here. And if I have my SWR, as you can see now, we're at an SWR 1.5. So without the tuner, uh, what I can do actually is I can hit the power button. As you can see, we're high SWR plus three. And with the tuner, I can hit tune and I'll tune it. And now we're down to about SWR of 1.5. And it's really that simple. And what I'm showing you right now is actually a clip of what my radio was doing before I actually figured this out. So what it was doing was basically, I was not able to transmit in anything for whatever reason other than 10 meters and 20 meters. Um, and when I would try to go to another band and I would try to transmit, the ALC would come up. And when I hit the tune button and after the tuning process was over, it just jumped all the way back down. Same thing with the power output. The power output would just come up and then just jump right back down. And uh, it, it just wouldn't tune for whatever reason. But without the cat cable, I found that it's a lot more reliable uh, in doing so. And also turning the radio down to about five watts or so has really helped as well. So that's really the big things right there that made the uh, MFJ929 work with my FT891 was, first of all, no cat connection. Uh, whatever reason the MFJ cable does not work. I was told to only use that with an amplifier. Um, I don't have an amplifier, so I was told that I don't need that at all um, right now until I buy an amplifier. But make sure that your tuner setting is set to external and then make sure that the power output for whatever mode that you're gonna be transmitting, whether you're gonna be transmitting a tone on sideband uh, CW, or maybe you're gonna try to tune it with single sideband phone, which is a way to do it. Like I said, I wasn't able to successfully get that to work. Maybe you would be able to have some success with that. I was told just whistle to it, hum, anything that you can do to create a continuous uh, noise burst to make the power level go up enough to tune the radio. But for me, the only way I've been able to successfully get it to work is using the tune setting in WFJTX, which I think just emits a continuous tone and it's tuned that way perfectly fine for me every time, which is fine uh, because all I do is just fire up WSJTX and click tune and click the tuner and tune it and then go jump on whatever frequency I want to get on. Uh, but I'm only tuning on the FT8 default frequency so that I could be having some negative impacts uh, on my SWR, the higher or lower 
away from that frequency that I go in the band. So that's just something to note. I just wanted to show you guys how to get the MFJ 929 to work with the FT891. I've seen a ton of videos on, you know, getting the MFJ 939 to work with the FT891. And uh, when I couldn't get this to work, I was a little bit worried that I might just have to send this tuner back because maybe it's just not compatible with this radio. Turns out uh, some of the information I was given was wrong of how this thing works and it's a little bit difficult to set up at first but like i said once you get it actually set up it's a great tuner it's worked great for me so far uh playing with it last night when i got it actually set up the right way and today playing around it's just been tuning everything pretty well and if this process doesn't work for you let me know in the comments below or if you have another way to get this specific tuner to work with this radio, also let me know that in the comments below. Like I said, this is just one of the processes that somebody else showed me and it worked. And I just really wanted to share it to you guys because this is a great tuner. Um, and like I said, it works great for me now that I actually got it working. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the end of the video, guys. Uh, I just wanted to share that. Like I said, uh, hopefully this tuner will work for you. Um, and yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys next time. 73.